Hi, I'm Mark Miklich, Technical Product Manager here at Squid Inc. for Small Character Technologies. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, this video we're going to discuss how to physically realign the ink stream on your Jetstream printer. All right, you might be wondering uh, why would we be realigning the ink stream on our Jetstream printer. Um, typically a scenario in which we might be doing this is uh, maybe we're having some print quality issues. So maybe part of our text is being completely cut off. Um, we're missing a portion of it altogether. Uh, oftentimes that can be a symptom of the stream just not uh, going into the gutter where we would expect it to. So some of our droplets aren't quite making it out and deflecting out onto your product. Um, so we're going to take a look at how to physically adjust that uh, on the printer. Um, one thing I will point out right away is um, before you ever make a physical adjustment to the alignment of your inkjet, make sure you run our back flush procedure first. So if you've not watched our back flushing the nozzle of a Jetstream printer video, make sure you watch that and go through that process first before you ever realign, uh, physically realign the jet on this system. Um, the reason being is uh, if we do have a, a misalignment or if our inkjet is out of alignment due to debris, which the back flush video covers, um, if we physically realign it and then that debris moves, we're actually gonna be in even worse shape than we were before. So again, I can't stress enough, make sure to follow that back flush procedure before you ever get to this point. All right, uh, if you wanna try to visually verify um, that your ink stream alignment is, is correct or isn't correct. Um, there's a couple of really easy tricks. Uh, again, the, the alignment that we're looking for is what we call three o'clock position. That's uh, if you're looking at it from the back of the head, uh, sighting down the gutter tube, that stream should be vertically centered, but cheated off to the right. If you wanna make sure that that's correct, there's two different ways you can look at this. One is, if you look at it from the side, it's good to have uh, a white background or a light background. Um, if you look from the side, you'll see our little black inkjet down here going into the gutter. And again, uh, when we're looking at it from the side, we're actually looking at uh, the vertical alignment, if you will. That should be centered vertically. If we want to look at the horizontal alignment, uh, an easy trick is just take a piece of white, a small piece of white paper and carefully slide it underneath the jet. So right between the gutter and these two deflection plates, you can fit a piece of paper in there and you'll be able to see that, that uh, stream of ink. And from this perspective, we want the jet to be cheating off to the right side. Okay, in order to do uh, an adjustment uh, on the alignment uh, of your inkjet and the print head, um, the system does need to be jetting first, okay? Um, and then you're gonna need to have the print head out of the sleeve um, and either in a, a holder or you can even do this just with your other hand. You can hold the print head and then make your adjustments. Um, all we need, uh, as far as tools are concerned, to make any adjustments to our ink stream alignment is a two millimeter Allen wrench. That's all you have to have. All right, there's really only two adjustments uh, on the print head as far as the inkjet alignment is concerned. There's a vertical adjustment that'll move our stream up and down and a horizontal adjustment that'll move it, you know, essentially left and right. So we're gonna take a look at uh, the hardware that we work with in order to make those adjustments. Okay, so we're gonna look at the vertical alignment first. There's only two pieces of hardware that we work with uh, for either of the alignments. Um, so for the vertical, here's our set screw right here. All you need to do is loosen this up a little bit and that will allow us to uh, make an adjustment. Um, to make the actual adjustment, we have an eccentric wheel right here. Um, and what we'll do is if you need to uh, move your stream down a little bit, you would just turn this clockwise. If you need to move it up, you would turn it counterclockwise. 
These are very, very fine adjustments. It does not take much. Uh, we're talking maybe a, a 16th of a turn at most. So you don't want to go cranking on this. Uh, it, it, again, it's very fine adjustment. So uh, once you've made your adjustment, make sure you lock your set screw back in place. Um, and we'll, we'll try to get a little bit more of a close up here on how that impacts our alignment. But that's all you have to do. So if your stream or your inkjet is not vertically aligned correctly, um, all you do again is loosen the set screw and adjust the eccentric, tighten it back down. Simple as that. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the vertical alignment of our inkjet. So you should be able to see our jet. It looks like a, a black hair almost, a real fine hair here. Um, we're looking at it from the side and we're gonna be moving it up and down. Again, this is our vertical adjustment. So I'm gonna loosen our vertical set screw. And if I turn the eccentric to the right, you should see the stream go down. If I turn it counterclockwise, you should see the stream go up. And I'm just gonna get it lined up in the middle. And we're gonna tighten our set screw back down. And that's it. Okay, if we need to make a horizontal adjustment to our alignment, uh, basically identical hardware to our vertical, just in a different location. So our set screw for horizontal is right here. Again, all you do is loosen that up a little bit. And then our eccentric wheel is right here. Okay. Um, counterclockwise, we'll actually move the stream to the right if you're looking at the print head from the front, clockwise will move it to the left. Again, these are very fine adjustments. It doesn't take much, again, maybe a 16th of a rotation at most. So again, don't go cranking on this. Um, the eccentric uh, also, uh, especially for the horizontal here, it sits in a, a, an oval shaped slot underneath this plate. It's not designed to rotate a full 360 degrees. It doesn't need to be able to do that. Um, so if you're turning this and you meet some significant resistance, that means you've gone as far as you can. Um, you do not need to, to put a ton of pressure or a ton of torque on this, uh, just to make that clear. So um, again, this doesn't need to be able to spin around a full 360, just very, very fine adjustments to get your stream where you need it to be. All right, now we're gonna adjust our horizontal alignment. Um, so we're looking at this from the top down. You can see our jet right here. And we're gonna be moving it side to side or left to right, okay? So I'm gonna loosen our horizontal set screw. And if I turn the, the uh, eccentric counterclockwise, you'll see the stream is actually moving off further uh, to the left, I guess, from my perspective. Um, and if we go counterclockwise, it's moving to the right from my perspective. Um, so all we need to do is we want our jet to be right about here. Okay, so if you're sighting down that, that gutter tube, um, that would be the three o'clock position or, or kind of off to the right from that perspective, okay? So this is what we're looking for right here. Again, all we need to do at this point is tighten down our set screw and we're done. Um, when you are making adjustments to your jet, uh, especially if you, have to, if you have to do vertical and horizontal adjustments, make sure you do one at a time. I highly recommend not having both of your set screws loose at the same time. Uh, if you do that, if everything's loose and you're making multiple adjustments, when you go to tighten these back down, um, there's a good chance you're not going to be um, exactly where you have it lined up. So uh, just can't stress that enough. Do one adjustment at a time, tighten down your, your set screw, move on to the next. If our inkjet is really badly misaligned, um, there's always the possibility that maybe the print head was, was hit really hard um, or maybe dropped, something like that, um, that has actually knocked the alignment out of place. Um, if it's bad enough that the ink stream or inkjet is not going into the gutter at all, um, we'll still need to be able to have the system jetting so we can still make this alignment adjustment. Um, so in that scenario, what we would do is actually bypass our gutter alarm 
um, which will let us jet um, regardless of what the inkjet is doing. Okay, so if it's completely missing the gutter and making a mess, we can still run the printer and still realign that inkjet. We would go into our settings page, setting, and we would go to our alarm setting. The very first option in the alarm setting page is the gutter status or gutter alarm. We're gonna turn that off and re-enable the gutter when we're all done. If you do forget to do this, um, by default, if there's ever a power cycle to the machine, these alarms go right back to on, okay? All right, so that covers uh, realigning the inkjet on the jet stream. At this uh, point, if you've got it lined back up, we're gonna put the print head back into the sleeve. You can go ahead and do a test print, and make sure everything looks good. All right, thanks for joining us today uh, for our Jetstream video on how to realign the inkjet. Uh, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos on the Jetstream or any of our other products. And uh, also please uh, make sure to visit squidink.com uh, to see a, a bunch more information on our product line as well. Thanks again.